Welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for your personal help. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing OK. OK? okay. <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, Detective. Let's rouse some hot pots. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice call. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any in the vicinity officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to handle code 2 identify. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door in the lab. Come on, Dunn. Your show now. Carruthers. Phelps, I've been reassigned to Advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same cigarettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack Dent took exception. He wasn't born that way. What the hell are you talking about? His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. You're the so one who said it, David. You so. put it on your damn self. We're knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You said it Talk first. About a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants a license to get a little dirty. Don't care. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it. Don't care. You see it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. 
I Can we get on with this? Oh shit! Over one text, then. That does not mean I'm gay. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit. These clowns lived on pop clown? Must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Oh, fuck you. No fucking shit. I learned a lot. Not even 23 years old. Find anything interesting? Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Just when I think I've seen it all. Fruit, a bell, and win. Strange doodle. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Another day, another dollar. Another special order from the Caesar. Street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. David, what's your point? One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Bullshit. Bullshit, bitch. Looks like it was always going to end this way. Find anything Find interesting? Anything. Say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. You're queer. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. What? I'm reacting to the game. Who's JJ? 
And why do these two care about his taste in music? The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Oh god. Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Okay. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn numbskull before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. Your face is pretty funny. Nobody cares. to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Circumstantial. Doesn't appear to be connected. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer.
morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. Who supplies the drugs? I don't know about that. Do you want me to beat on you, Fleetwood? No, sir, I don't. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? Do you run the numbers from here or from the blue room? You ever been to the blue room? That's for rich white folks who want to listen to the black man's music if they're scared to be seen in Negro town. Look, I gave you all I got. Advice? Get the kid's story. He's a small fry, but he could give us someone bigger. Seems like a decent guy. I don't think this is anything. I don't think this is going to help us. Look, I got to get back to the counter. Those stations are going to be burned. Help me out. Get the kid's story. He's a small fry, but he could give us someone bigger. something on this Jones character. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. Tell us what you know about Jermaine Jones. What, what's to know? All he's supposed to be is some booking agent. That's his job, anyway. So you just keep this food hut set up going for kicks? Do you think we're stupid, Fleetwood? I'd be very fucking careful how you answer that. But Jermaine is moving that shit to some gangster Jew boy motherfucker. That's all I know. Look, I do what I'm told, and I'm happy to have work. See you at the station, Fleetwood. But you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window. And a nice fresh pillow. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven.
I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? What's wrong with you? Driving, you idiot. Should have David over to I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. I was hot good. Who? Marlon Hopkins, the informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Son of a bitch! Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl. As long as Hollywood exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And... There goes a week's wages. That will be all. You better not get blood on this car. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are, Jermaine Jones, 238. Hey, who let you in? You boys looking for work? What kind of act are you supposed to be? <laughs> Jermaine Jones, don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now, you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? Scott Phantom. Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. Thank you.
should you always listen to tools? Holy shit! No wonder this thing is sounding a little off. Brandon! Brandon. Wilt! Wilt! Get, Get over here! Take these Take assholes. assholes. Uh -huh. You heard the boss. Come on, son of a bitch. Come on! Is this the best you got? Mugs and dope for the eyeballs. Come on! Come on! Come on! these sons of bitches down! Oh! Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. David the Queen, you really like me. <laughs> you okay. How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. Mont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead? They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. And you offering me a deal? I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're... 110? Imagine the changes you'll see. I get the message. How much is this gonna cost me? Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any two boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Finkelstein oh, yeah. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein. Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. What's the score with Grandma's removal? I brought a radio from there. That's all. So when we visit Grandma's removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're gonna be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Shut up, David, nobody cares. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army surplus morphine. And they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. You're paying for every last scratch. 
Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the out. Shut up, David. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez. R A M E Z. Thanks, man. Out of the car, police. Where'd you learn how to? What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! What does this lunatic think he's doing? Here comes the cavalry. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try I'm to trying, bust his tires. Oh, Jesus. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. It's no good. We need to get close. He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside him and take him out. That's it, Cole. You did it. It's trust history. Pull him out of there. Put your hands where I can see them. As you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on it. I'm gonna take a look around inside.
What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? You know all about the argument. There must be a way through the back. You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. Let's change the subject. Fasting for young people, Mr. Cully? Yeah, let's change the subject. You're going motherfucker. What a pile of baseball. My mother would be in heaven. It's America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. People don't like Jews, Mr. Cully. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. Smells of old people in here. This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. We need to get up onto the floor above. Thank you. 
semester. I got to take a, I got to take a few classes in the summer. Mm -hmm. That's gonna suck. Just, just only, that's only for this year. Only for this year. Only for this year. Gave it to those lousy Japanese. That's like 2018. I did my best. I took it for that year there. Down here, there's a cold room in the back. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're going to want to see this. something frozen inside. It's like, why do you do some of the other murders? Because it's pretty brutal. Popcorn cups, that's for sure. Look at it all. This is big boy. It's not small. Now we just need to get to the source. Everything, Everything I do is above board, officer. I'll keep these suspects quiet. You work the place over. So what next? Time to check Jose's books. See where he makes his delivery runs. Try the front desk. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger hole? Hmm. I think we know why Ramos has been ordering so much ice. and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. 
Let him have it. Clear me some space here. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps, in a minute, a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him? Bingo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there. Blend in. Wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash. Then tail him. Good luck. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. You see the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Give me a grand and cavalcade the fifth. Don't care, David. Nobody cares. Take the call, don't take it. It's up to you, Cole. Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps, in a minute, a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him? Bingo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there, blend in, wait for our mark. 
He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash, then tear him up. Good luck. Yeah. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. See him? I saw his picture. He worked at That's the guy from the paper. Solved that big case. Give me a grand on Cavalcade the fifth. Car 11K, we'll handle the out. Nobody cares. You better care. I don't care. Detective Phelps. I got to take a call to Sarah. It's like from my first year, I got to take a call to Sarah. Back and Rampley's going to walk in here and put a man on yeah, some horse running in the ship. And I'm on top of that. We don't care about Rampley. He wants the boss. You are so cold. Huh? Nothing. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him. Bingo. Get in there, blend in, wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash, then tear him up. Good luck. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. Give me a grand mm -hmm. cavalcade the fifth. New York. Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps, in a minute, a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him? Bingo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there, blend in, wait for our mark. You'll be in a dark coat. 
Wait until he hands over the cash, then tail him. Good luck. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. He worked that case with the lady that was cut up like a dolly. Got it, boss. A full G. She's coming in at 20 to 1. I got a trophy. Yes, nice. LAPD, you're both under arrest. Ambulance required at Sunset and Ivar. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four, but I'll need an ambulance in a corner. or what? No, I mean, what's your, um, have you been recruited yet? Open your eyes! Don't give a fuck what you're wearing, bitch. LAPD, police emergency. himself the werewolf. What? It's um oh it's the it's pretty much the one I did yesterday actually. With the maze and stuff. Factory is closed. Oh I gotta do that and that's kind of it's been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. 
Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Come on in and get massacred, cocksucker! Eyes open. It's around here somewhere. Oh! Throw out the guns. You're loose, mister! Can someone please just kill these assholes over it? Give me some goddamn cover! He fucking died? Are you serious? Get up! Well, you pick things up, Sarah. Eyes open. X. He's around here somewhere. I can't call oh, it. I ain't running out of friends or guns. Take cover, you lunatic. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Now! I'm gonna put holes in you, asshole! Pour it on me, Keep shooting! I want him dead! Let's move! Ah, find some cover! I walk! Are you trying to get yourself killed? Catch this asshole! I'm wide open here. Give me some goddamn cover. Give me some goddamn cover! They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Let's have a look around, now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day, until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Three guesses what's in the box. Open her up, Cole. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Shit,
well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's gonna cost? Fifty bucks. And the department will front me the fifty? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Roy's informant is the skittish type. Need a drink. Fifty bucks? Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Get this. Look out! Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade... Are you crazy? Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set... Any ideas? Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Be careful. He likes guns. That's why I get my money. Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. Excuse me, bro. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Shut 
Shut up, David. You believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Scratch. God damn, maniac. Shit. Don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. He opened fire and, you know, the rest of the story tells itself. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Mm-hmm. 
BB. Ow. Doesn't tell me anything. Yeah. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Keeping warm so well stocked with soup. <laughs> Find anything interesting? Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, Detective. Only one address listed. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address. This place looks like a front. Seems irrelevant.
You jump like a girl. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell can you see this bathroom soup? You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory seal. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports of 415 at 7th and Central. Unit to handle code 2, identify. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted to follow her, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. What is going on? 
We're a family company using family recipes. We don't know anything about dope rings. I need you to stop this from ruining the company's reputation. LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on it. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Any name on that list that rings a bell? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A uh, Jorge Garcia Cruz. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. You must suspect someone, Mr. Parnell. Are you sure it isn't someone who stole some of my labels? That would be pretty easy to do. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. OK, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did OK. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. You're being made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell, and you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut... No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables 
and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Why don't you keep quiet? Might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. Here's right. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? I'd like a private word with your dispatcher, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. I'll be over here when you need me. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Sergio. We know the dope gets canned here. We know it happens at night. And you know I work days. And what goes on at night, I don't want to know about. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. Juan Garcia Cruz is dead, Lunkhead. His brother works here nights. What can you tell us, Sergio? I'm just a dispatcher. One was crazy. Who the loved guns? You're pretty hard to please, Placa. I think you should leave me alone now. It's the same music. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. <laughs> it is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? You ask Roas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents.
Whoa, I didn't know. What the hell? Tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. <laughs> LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Whatever you're carrying, okay. hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Give me EJ, driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run this shop. That's all I do. Start talking, Erto. I want the names of everyone involved. What difference does it make what I tell you? I'm still going to jail, no? Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. Erto, you can skate on this. We're not interested in a flunky running a farmer's market. We want the people running the operation. You seem OK. You can never trust a gringo who wants something. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're going to jail, Erto. 
Our jails may be nicer than what you could expect in Mexico, but I could tie you up in red tape for years. You've got this one chance to cooperate, Erto. Give me your delivery, boy. Or you'll do every year that we were saving for them. All right. I... I there's a shipment coming in tonight. To the soup factory. Parnell's soup factory. 1 a.m. Ernesto will be there. We should get some backup and stake out the cannery tonight. pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let him unload the goods first. Now? Let's get him. See them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill. Thank Throw you. out the gun. Oh, okay. Let's go! Everyone into position. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. Got your back. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Surrender now, or I will use deadly force. Go, Phelps. Get in there. in the air.
clear? I think that's the last of them, Cole. I think that's it. Now it's time to talk to the girl. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. If you want an address, we should see what the Federales have on. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Dave, it's a queer. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. It's be a thousand dollars here. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Yes. Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Oh my god, it's too beautiful.
First coin, MAS. The second. Oh, yeah! That's how you do that! Yeah! David, where'd you get this damn coin puzzle? Oh my god, that was fucking hard. Where'd you beat it? Yeah. Fucker. 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 The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Masang K Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever? 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Thank <laughs> you. 
You've done the detecting. Now go out and arrest the bad guys. This car cost me a fortune, you moron! I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? I can't drive these cars. Well, I'm always fucking... I'm always crashing and shit. Like, I cannot drive these cars. Yeah, easy for you, since you're only fucking backing up in the people. Oh, wow. Back. Yep. Locked. We need another way in. Look where you're going! They don't know to move if the siren's not on. Not a Stop. Let's get back to the warehouse and finish this. Freddy Calhoun? Sure, Freddy. I know. Freddy needs money.
Down. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Stay in cover! I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. The impossible, the impossible becomes, becomes probable, probable when you have a client list like, like mine. mine. Shut your Shut mouth! Your mouth. Turn around, Turn around and put, and your, put hands your hands behind, behind, your, behind back. your back. You say, are you ready for this summer? I guess. No, I'm not, because if, because if, I, see, if I see his girlfriend, she's getting smacked. Not smacked, she's getting... She even starts strong with me, I want to fucking go off. No. That's what they're yeah, calling this FUBAR case that you brought me. All the beaners are gonna skate. 
Reefer crazed Mexicans carrying Jeez. enough ordnance to outfit an airborne company in my goddamn jurisdiction, and they all walk. What about Sanders? Victor Sanders? Are you kidding? If Sanders started naming names, the dailies would have to run special editions for a week. Put a stack of convictions on my desk by 9 a.m. Monday morning, or you can start clearing out your desk. Dismissed! <laughs> oh my god. Say, you really say, you tell him that you're gonna be dead. Holy shit, dude. Say, you tell him that. Platoon is what remains of recon. I'm yep. holding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. <laughs> Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Wow. Not quite what I expected. For now. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Osakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. <laughs> He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corbin. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fixing a sandwich, buddy? Corn beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Let's get a ringside seat. Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step 
back. Ellie, what's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on him. So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pinboard, second from the end. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. This is any use to us. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, Doctor. Can I help, Court? Is it mud? No, 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 Doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Court. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor.
You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. You know the place? Flop, flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I know to hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his... Thank God we're not in my car. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Don't here. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. That's the guy from the paper. Solve that whole case. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. This guy must have escaped from the Looney Bin. Are you the thing I finished? Winston Churchill, a very patriotic Englishman, is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. What now? All right, let's see what's hiding in his room. She wants a five star, goddamn. Cop that caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Obnoxious oaf. This guy's got a screw loose. I'm gonna make him take me to the pictures tonight. What 
Goddamn Harry thinks he could get fresh whenever he pleases. Doors are locked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Instinct. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Like Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. It's this angle if he has a real love interest. Incidental. goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. Don't hear. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me... What are you doing? Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Sounds like we're missing all the fun. The Get in there, Sal. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you, I haven't seen him. <gasps> like hitting women, do you? We had a gun! This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Come on, son of a bitch. Fight, let's go. 
Nobody cares. David is a queer. No, I'm not. Yoka. Don't say yeah, okay. Yuka. Don't yeah, okay. Yuka, bitch. Don't yeah, okay, me. How cold, How cold but breathing. But breathing. Give, her Give her a minute. Take a look around. She's, She's leaving, leaving town. town. Nasty, Nasty weapon. weapon. All the Italians All the carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Escania sails from New York. What do, what do you think? Search every corner, top to bottom. We find out where Hammond's heading next. He's history. Doesn't look like anything. This isn't. This Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Save it for the suckers, Candy. Albert won big. He may not have told you, but you don't strike me as the type who leaves town when there's money to be had. Call me anything you like, Flatfoot. I'm done with this burg and all the cheap chiselers who live here. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Your friend Carlo seems to be looking for them, too. Carlo is no friend of mine. He's no friend of Albert's, either. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. 
Well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money, too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Been at risk losing the trail.
Too much slack. slack. Gotta get closer. Where exactly is Black Hole? Losing the trail. Bookmakers? Yes. There. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, fuck you, bitch, we thought. That's a cop. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. Claim me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Okay. 
We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Self to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Okay. Look where you're going! Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleanest. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a guard over there by the phone. We need to get after her, fast. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. We can't lose the trail, Cole. We have to try Candy's last stop. of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Are you crazy? 
This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. Hey, Sentry in a citizen report suspicious activity on a trolley car on Fountain Avenue. Stand by for further information. Any Sentry in it? Get too close. She must be inside. Dean's queer. This thumb sucks. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Easy, Cole. Better back it off. stops is she gonna make? Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was gonna win. Be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. stops is she gonna make? Too close, yeah. Phelps. Way too close. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was gonna win. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. heading inside. It's over, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why the 
I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Ken. Make sure you don't let her see you. I said the whole year for that car! Oh, I didn't even... Jeez, he was too fucking close. Jesus Christ. I hope she was worth it. Pull over. She's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Still, Candy. Make Who shot you? <laughs> Was it Albert? <laughs> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey no, friend. She's dead. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. You don't think there's something we ought to be doing at the interstate terminal? Well, you don't see that every day. be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Five star All right, let's go after his girl, see if that gets us any closer.
Shut up, David. Dahlia, but they covered it up. Some hey, kind of could I borrow some of that mascara? Think about you know, talk about other people. Uh, uh, sure, I'm a I survived the war for this. Don't ask. I got I didn't get none. I'm stumped. Ideas? You don't think there's something we ought to be doing at the interstate terminal? Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. Theater. So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. You're paying for every last scratch. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, Commander. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The 
cause of death was a knife wound. I repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Casey Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up, just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a die. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best, kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Demon? Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlos. If I lost the fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I, I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck, and Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. Carol, put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arkham. Move, I'll get there. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Come on, Carol, how was it, dead man? Hammond, too. Throw out the guns. Son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck 
you. That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl, you're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. Thanks. 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 Thanks.